Doesn't matter about that. This is on my face side. Right, I don't have two pieces of three inch, but I do have one piece of six inch. So that'll do. And normally I like to keep my fingers away from the blade, but I wanted to keep that distance solid, so you probably saw my fingers a bit close. But you can see by that one. It's a bit bent. So I needed to keep that point. Keep that point exactly there. And fingers were above the blade anyway. Anyway, it's not going to be one side, it's not going to be one each side, but I'm just using it to prop it up. I've left it a fraction high, it gives me something to clean off, sand, plain, whatever, and it's going to get two by one around the wall. It's a bit wide that front for a normal shelf but these ones are a metre wide so if it's not thick enough the shelves will just sag in the middle. Right, I've got handles there to fit. Decorator's coming tomorrow so I'll get some clips of this to add to me other videos but for the moment little job. Cap. I've got two shelves to put in here, one about that high and then one further up. It's a bit tight in here so I'll film what I can. Solid walls, cast light don't work. It's better. software.
turbo cad. Ah, right. So cutting all four at the same time means that they're all exactly the same length. Same again with these two. It's just lazy way of cutting, you don't have to measure twice. Right, so the shelf's going to go about that high. So about that high. Get this stuff moved out. I uh, just made a quick assessment of the situation. That back wall's pretty straight. It's almost the same all the way up. This wall you can see is out of it. This is just to get my head around what's what's going on. And that wall, it's pretty straight. Got some crap in the way. I put that on there. It's pretty square. But that's just, like I say, just to get my head around what's going on. So I'll get some battens on. I'll transfer this pencil line around. It's a bit tight in here to get my laser, so I'll use my levels. I'm going to fix this back one on first because when I put the timbers on if you put it that way line of sight means that you don't see a gap if I was to put these ones on first and then that one on butting up to that like that if there's a little gap you see that gap sometimes when you put things together it's about the line of sight so put it that way, looks better. Even if there's a gap that way, you know, from, from here, it looks better. Plus, if I was to put that one on there and then put this one on here, we're not guaranteed to be level there. If I put the big one on first at the back, that's level, then I'm working out like that better that way. It's easier to get these, you know, all level.
So I've got 20 mil timber, 70 mil screws, and these plugs are about, I don't know, they're about 35 mil, 6 mil drill bit, red plugs, and these are fives, like that. When you put the plug in the wall, you want to tap it past the plaster into the brickwork. Plaster's 12, 15 mil. So that works out at that sort of distance, you know, 12, 15 mil like that for the plaster. If you don't tap this plug past the plaster, then it expands in the plaster and it's, it's not holding. This one, I don't know if you can see, it's on tripod, there's a gap there, because this timber's out of square, but I'm going to ignore it because it's going to get painted, and it comes down to, like I was saying, line of sight, you don't see that little gap unless you're there. And you're never going to look at it like that. And socket wire should go down, but I'm going to avoid drilling in that section there. But what I do want to do is put two at the front, one there and one there. Might be okay, but all the weights on the front, the front's going to get banged. So I'm going to put two in. And just hope that wires don't do that. I've got metal detectors and everything, but even the 80 pound box one that I've got is doing crap. You can't trust it. So it might tell you there's electric there. But where exactly? I'm going to do this one first, simply if shit happens, I've only got one screw to take out. the red mud. See the red dust coming down, that means I've hit a good brick. And go slowly through the plaster first until you hit something solid, then you can give it some ammo. And you want about as much screw sticking out as the length of the plug, maybe a little less.
That one just went into nothing, so I pointed it away a little bit. You see that one just went into nothing, there's nothing there for whatever reason. So I pointed it away, it might be the seam of a brick. But if I drill straight in I might just crack the edge of that brick off. So I've gone at a slight angle. This side is tiled, you don't want to just blast through it, so very slow drilling first and I might even drill all these first, I can't mark it like I did before. I don't know where my little squirty thing is, so... A little thing that you put on there and give it a squirt and it squirts through. I'll have a look to see if I can find it, but I don't think I know where it is. No, I can't find my little squirty thing. See how this goes. Good.
And like I say, you can get squirty things, squirt through. Maybe even strip a pencil, you know, just so you've got the lead. Blow dust through it, do all sorts of things. And you can get drills for tiles, you know, like the like little arrows. So you might be better off drilling, drilling the tile first. I gambled a bit. I'm going to get these ones on first before the shelf's in the way. I think. Right, this is an off cut off the timber that goes on the front. I've got that measurement. I'll cut my shelves to that width now. And we know that wall's pretty straight at the back. And that is pretty square. But this wall. is a good 15 mil out so what I'll do is cut this board to sort of five ten mil longer on that end and at least that distance on the other so whatever that distance is across there plus plus that Right, so hard back there, hard back there, both sides. Just going to be slightly out there. So I'm just going to take ten mil off it. And I'm going to take that upside and just cut it with tracks on. Right, so hard back. That's a better fit. What I'll do now is take a measurement from there to there and I'll put that on my board here, swap it over and I can scribe to that pencil mark wherever it is. Right, so I've swapped it over and I've got a pencil mark there that is the same distance as across there. So a hard back. So all I need to do now is scribe that in. I'm going to cut my pencil line off. Yeah, I might run jigsaw down that because it's a bit wobbly. But I'm going to cut the pencil line off because diagonal from this top corner to that corner, the bottom corner, is longer than the length. You know, the diagonal of something is longer than the width. And when you try and get them in there, it's just tight. Plus, that's that's what decorates cogs for. So I'm going to cut the line out, give myself a little bit. So, like I say, I'm slightly out. It's only about two mil. I push it up. I'm 
tight up there. And I'm a few more out there. I'll do this top one exactly the same. So he comes out with him, so I to clip on that. I'm going to leave them for a little while to dry, 20 minutes, half an hour, and I'm going to take them off and sand these. It's not fixed down yet. I'm going to sand that lip off. It'll have to do because I want to go.
going to stick a screw in here. I think. I put some fellow on, decorate the top out.